The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Realizing the need to unearth promising science and mathematics learners in South Africa, the ESCOM Young Scientists Expo, which is a program of the Department of Science and Technology, aims to encourage young scientists to further develop their scientific skills, which in turn will benefit the country. Zandilia Mavuso has the story. The ESCOM Young Scientists Expo has become a creator of opportunities for young science learners across the country from different social backgrounds. To unleash the talent from various parts of the country, ESCOM took members of the media to Mbilwi's secondary school in Toyando to showcase some of the talented young scientists. ESCOM Young Scientist Executive Director Parthi Chetty explains the need to expand the project to such areas. The ESCOM Expo um, started as a project of uh, schools that showed an interest in the past and it grew in these areas. What we find is that if we don't have a strategy in place to take it out to schools that are not aware, then we're not going to grow science across the country. So we put in an effort to hire professional staff across the country whose day job is to go out to these previously disadvantaged communities and to train teachers and run workshops for the learners as well. Being excited about this year's expo, four projects from the school have been chosen as part of the finalists. The projects range from a portable fridge, alternative renewable energy using an avocado seed, the designing of an unnamed robotic firefighter, and a project which looked at generating electricity from oxidation. The learners are optimistic of the work they have put in into their projects. Identifying the talent and being impressed with the work the students have presented, Chetty indicates that teachers remain important in supporting the learners to excel in science and maths. In the school system, the teacher is the most valuable asset. That's our human resource. The teacher is a change agent as well as a catalyst. So we find that if we train one teacher per school, we now impact on the entire population of that school. We give the teacher the skills, the know-how, and a training manual that's now going to be accredited with SACE. So they are competent and confident in doing this kind of support. Furthermore, the teacher will earn continuous development points, which they need to register with SACE. So it's a benefit personally on a professional level for these teachers. Chetty also mentions that by getting the teachers involved, this will prove beneficial for learners as the Expo hopes that future science researchers will come out of such competitions. One of the key components of the ESCOM Expo is to empower these learners to do research and to do good quality research. Once that is done, these learners are much more confident and competent to um, proceed through to university and we encourage them to further the studies into postgraduate. So at an early age, at school level, we need to do a good job to make a convincing case as to why they should do that. And then they should be on the right path to postgraduate studies. We've now developed a strategy, an integrated strategy, um, to expand to all schools across the country. Our provincial coordinators, one per province, will now train the curriculum advisors in each province who are departmental officials. And part of their day job is to train teachers in the math, science and technology field. And that is part of the government's math, science, technology strategy. And we are now helping them with specific skills on how to promote research. So using these uh, curriculum advisors across the country, we then have a larger number of trainers who go out to more schools and more teachers can be trained. Already impressed with the success of the Expo since its inception, Chetty mentions that the Expo currently reached 1,000 schools and about 100,000 learners nationally. However, ESCOM has a 2020 target which it believes can be reached. Our initial target with, the, with ESCOM was 10% growth year on year. But that's going to take us 25 years at least to reach. So we're trying to be more aggressive and if I can reach 
at least 14,000 schools over the next five years, I'll be happy about that. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.